Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I finally have a vlog for you here. Um, but yeah, we are going to Excision tonight, which is super exciting. Um, so it's our friend's, um, our friend Melissa's birthday. Um, it was like yesterday, I think. But um, we're going out for her birthday. So we got a VIP booth and stuff. It's going to be super fun. I'm really excited. We're all wearing onesies. So I'll show you what I got going on in a second here. But um, yeah, I'm going to take you with to figure out my outfit and to do my makeup and all that good stuff. And then we'll have some other random stuff in the vlog as well. And then, of course, the show. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm getting some stuff ready. And so tomorrow, I probably won't vlog this very much unless we, like, go out later. Um, but so tomorrow is um, Erin's birthday. Erin is my friend who passed away a year ago. And so we're all going to her family's house and having dinner and stuff. So right now I'm making deviled eggs for that because I'm not going to count on myself to wake up in time to do that <laughs> tomorrow. So we're doing that. Um, and then I have to figure out what I'm wearing, do my makeup. I have a couple inspo things for my makeup. This is the onesie I'm going to wear. It is this, like, cat unicorn pastel thing. It's probably gonna be hot as balls in there, so I need to wear something, like, skimpy underneath <laughs> um, to combat that, so... Man. Um, but, yeah, so... I'm working on boiling eggs right now. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start kind of getting ready. Ooh. And then I also need to make some candy. And then in this vlog, too, I wanted to tell you guys kind of my new thing I'm doing. Um... So I am working to revamp my Depop. It actually pretty much is all revamped at this point. Um, but I'm redoing it and I'm focused on selling just rave and festival wear and like hippie stuff and things like that. So like dancer outfits and whatnot. So I am super excited. So definitely go check it out. Um, I'll put a link down below if you want to go shop and see what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm calling it Rave Cycle and it's like rave, recycle, repeat is my little motto. So, I am making some candy for tonight also that say Rave Cycle on them, um, just so in the chance that I trade candy with somebody, I can give them one and be like a good little promo thing also, and it's super cute. Um, but yeah, and then with every order, at least for now, I am um, sending out with uh, a little personal candy too, and I'm making all the candy from reused beads, so there is like typical, I'll show you, there is like your traditional candy beads, but um, I got this like as like a mixed bag lot from the thrift. Um, and there is some letter bags in here. And then I did have to buy letters um, new, of course. Um, but And then I also have just like the most random bead assortment too. Um, Cause the whole idea is to like keep things in the cycle, you know, so to keep things moving. So I'm buying like ugly bracelets and necklaces and cutting them up and making them cute. So yeah, every order from Depop gets one of those and a couple little treats and goodies. So um, if you wanna go shop. You should go do that. Uh, but also, I just got a Depop package today, and I haven't ordered anything for myself in so long, so I'm really excited, so I thought I'd just show you guys. Um, I am totally going to live in this thing in festivals. Um, <laughs> like I said, all fits and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited. Let's just my order, I think. Perfect. It feels thick. Oh my god. So cute. Oh my god, it's like a long john onesie. It's from um, Current Moon, um, from Dolls Kill or whatever, but obviously secondhand. And it's tie dye and it's all earth tone. It's got the feet out. Oh my god. I'm gonna live in this thing like hella hard this summer. <laughs> this is so fucking lit. And it's just like the big ass zipper, too. So dope. All right, if I have time today, I'll try it on for you guys. My house is a mess right now, so don't look around, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's so lit. Oh my god. I like wish I could wear it tonight, but it's not um, quite the onesie that I was hoping for, so...
All right, deviled eggs are here. I got my fillings in here. I'm just gonna pipe them in. And then I'm also trying something a little bit different from a recipe with prosciutto and blue cheese. But um, I'm not a huge fan of blue cheese and Adam really hates blue cheese. So I'm gonna use feta um, instead. And I'm just gonna do it on these ones in here just in case, um, you know, they're not good. And then these are just gonna be the traditional deviled eggs as you will. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take the prosciutto. I just layered it all up. This is just um, a clean lid to cut it on. And then I'm gonna cut like little slices of them. And then I'm gonna roll them up like little roses almost. And then put them in the egg, I think. And then pipe the filling in. And then put a little feta on top. And we'll see how it goes. Prosciutto ones. I'm gonna pick like an ugly little one <laughs> and hopefully it's good but if not we got the regulars. That's my cheese chunk. All right let's see. Mm. Honestly that slaps. That slaps hard. Hi guys, so I'm in my little makeup corner. Um, so I saw a inspo yesterday that I want to do and it'll match the onesie. Um, so it's kind of perfect. But um, yeah, so it's from TikTok. Um, and I'm going to do one eye blue, one eye purple. And then this girl, I saw she did the same thing. Um, and then she did like star eyeliner. And I want to do that, but like a little bit more dramatic with the liner. So I'm not stressed out quite yet, um, but... It will likely come. Um, I will likely be stressed pretty soon. So, I'm gonna get ready now. <laughs> this early. Because also, like, I have FOMO, and <laughs> I, like, a lot of times they'll just, like, all of a sudden now they're planning to, like, do something crazy, and, like, I'm not ready. So, yeah, I'm getting ready. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do a lot of shimmer and glitter. Um, I can't find, like, a freaking blue. Okay, I have one. So, um, I have these P. Louise bases, the pink or the purple and the blue. I have a pink one too, but I think I'm gonna stick with these colors. And then I have this little ColourPop shadow that is like the perfect blue. And then I think I have yes, and the purple one that is also like the perfect color. So, there's that. So, I'm gonna start with the eyeshadow, and then we're gonna attempt the star eyeliner situation. Um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. I have no idea what I'm going to do with my hair yet. I've not thought that far. I have like this little like hair bun extension things that are like blue and they're like from Claire. So they're like super cheapy. But um, I'm like, maybe I can make them look good. I don't know. But I don't know if I want to wear it up or down or what. Probably some form of up because I always get way too sweaty. Um, and then it's just like, ugh, and then I just put it in this ugly ponytail. So um, yeah, probably some form of up. <laughs> Um, or at least like half up or something, but we'll see. Um, I also don't know what I'm gonna wear yet under, um, my onesie, but like, I'm gonna be too hot in the onesie, likely, pretty quick. Um, so, I gotta have a full fit underneath. Um, but yeah, I'm excited, so, um, I guess I'll just like chat with you guys. Um, so, I went to my first festival, um, last year. September this past September and yeah so it was like a whole new world um I always really wanted to do festivals and I always knew I would really like them um I just kind of never really had someone to go with um and then Maddie brought me to my first rave like a few months before that and so that was super fun and like I didn't really know any of the music and then at uh Shangri-La which was my first festival in Harmony Park in Minnesota here um I didn't know any of the music like went in just totally blind and it was so fun and so we did a festival run, if you don't know, 
Um, and so we did Shang, and then we did Dance Fest, and then we did Infrasound, and we did, oh, we did Triple Rainbow Grizz um, in Wisconsin. And then we all, from, right from Triple Rainbow, we did, went and did um, Riot Fest. Um, and just the last day of Riot Fest um, on the Sunday. I saw Nine Inch Nails, it was fucking lit. Um, but yeah, so we did like the whole little festival run, right? Super fun, super amazing, very life changing. Um, but yeah, so through that, I've kind of been figuring out what um, genres um, of EDM that I like and what I kind of don't fuck with and, you know, what's just not for me and whatever it is. Um, so I will say that excision <laughs> and headbanging music is not necessarily my top pick. Like, I'm gonna have fun. I'm always gonna have fun and I'm gonna enjoy it. Um, it's just not like my first choice, um, of music, I guess. And it's not like, like gonna go home and like put it on, you know, if that makes sense. Um, absolutely no hate. Like, it's just not like my fave. I like like dancey, um, beats and stuff like that. So it, like headbanging music gets like a little repetitive for me um but whatever i'm gonna have a good good ass time um and i don't know any of the openers um for today and so it's a two-day show i don't think we're gonna do tomorrow um because of my friend's um birthday thing um but if we decide to one of his friends had two extra tickets so there's a chance that we could um we'll just kind of see how we're feeling we're just playing it by ear it's gonna be a very emotional day tomorrow so um, but it's gonna be good. So, cute. Okay, Blue. Um, I love these Pete Louise, Pete Louise, um, bases. I've never had anything else from her before, and I'd seen people use these, and I was like, that is insane. Also, don't come for me for pulling my eye. I, I will never change. I know it's bad for you. I don't care. Um, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so also, um, I feel like headbanging music you were a lot of like black and like matrix stuff and like red and like dark colors and shit and i'm wearing pastels <laughs> so whatever um i mean i've never worried about you know not matching the crowd but um yeah so i don't know maybe I feel a little bit different when i get there but um yeah i'm just going all the fuck out i don't care I usually don't do a lot of, like, eyeshadowy stuff, too, for, um, shows, because, again, sweat a lot, um, but I was just feeling inspired today, I guess, so I guess we're doing it. Um, Excision, I've never seen any of these openers before, and again, I don't really totally know a lot of what I'm getting into. Um, I'm a little grateful, <laughs> because, so it's Adam's friend, Andrew, and it's his wife's birthday, Melissa. Um, and we've got a booth with them before for, like, Halloween and stuff, and it's a little bit hard because, like, I, I don't know, I'm not, like, a super needy, um, person in a couple when it comes to, like, being at events and things. Like, I love to, like, go do my own thing, too. Um, but we've gotten a booth a couple times before, and a lot of times it's, like, it's hard because there's a lot of people that Adam hasn't seen in a long time, so it's, like, he's off doing his thing. And then, like, Halloween was great because I had Brooke and Nico there, so I wasn't alone, and, like, he can do his thing, I can do mine, and, like, that's excellent. Um, but I am a little bit grateful this time that he doesn't know a lot of the friends here, so I'm just gonna kind of follow him around because I don't know anybody this time, except Melissa and Andrew, so I'm a little bit grateful that, um, he'll be with me and not running around and whatnot so much, but, um, yeah, we're planning to get pretty feral. Um, my friend John is going as well, um, but he doesn't have a booth. So I'm, like, hoping that, like, somebody drops out from our group so that we could squeeze one in. Um, so that'd be awesome. But otherwise, we're gonna go see him on the floor a couple times. But it's just hard because, like, we can't hang out down there the whole time because we have the booth for a reason, you know? And, like, can't touch our friend for her birthday. Um, but then also I feel bad, like, leaving him. So we'll find a balance. We'll make it work. Um, but, yeah. So I think... Um, I think Adam's wearing my other cat onesie. It's like a cheetah. And then I think, um, Ben is wearing my unicorn onesie. I have two unicorn onesies, though. And the cat one that I'm wearing has a unicorn horn. So I suggested that we just all be unicorn situations. And, like, I'll just be the cat one. Because that's the only one that, or that's the one that fit. I'm the only one that fits in the cat one. But it has a unicorn horn. And then they could wear the unicorn ones. But one of them's white. And so I think they're worried about, like, getting it dirty. But, like... I don't really care. Um, 
So we'll see. It's a possibility. I'm trying to figure out if the blue just looks darker or if it's just more vibrant because my light is on this side. I think the blue got a little bit too big under here, so I'm gonna wipe it a little bit and then I'm gonna try this eyeliner. Okay, sorry, I did not want to talk through trying to do that. Um, it actually went really well. I think it's cute. Um, yeah, this one went so good that I debated just doing one of the eyes and then just doing regular, but then it was like too far gone anyway so um yeah okay cool i'm gonna add a little bit of purple here for where i wiped off and then yeah okay yeah okay so let's see i'm gonna add a little more white underneath um in my waterline here and then just below my lash line in that corner and then mm, I'm trying to debate if I want to do sparkles now or at the end I think I'll do like inner corner sparkles right now and then more sparkles at the end of course I'm really draw torn right now when it comes to lashes because I didn't have time to go get new ones and all I have left is like my really big ones that I used to wear all the time and I just haven't worn them in so and I just haven't worn them in so long that like they just feel kind of weird now every time I try and I also just don't know if I want to wear them to the show because I'm going to be so sweaty and then it's gonna like it's gonna come off and it's gonna be the eyeliner and stuff so I'm gonna kind of see what it looks like with just a shitload of mascara on and see if it's enough um but yeah i don't know i feel like i'm going through a weird change i don't know who i am anymore without these big lashes but <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna try it and just see what it looks like maybe we'll add some at the end but i just don't want them to be super annoying and i also don't want them to cover up the star stuff so i don't know maybe no lashes is the move this time which sounds weird to say but we'll see um i'm gonna do the rest of my face makeup now actually I'll do mascara first, and then I'll do the rest of my face makeup. And so that's not super interesting, so um, we'll just speed through that. I also did um, go really light on my face. Um, I didn't use too much cream except a little bit of concealer. Oh, the light's way better over here. Should I have you guys over here? My bad. Um, <laughs> I just used a little bit of concealer, a little bit of cream blush, and then I just like set everything. Um, I didn't want to do like heavy foundation and stuff. I'm kind of trying to let my skin calm down too. I just have like a couple little like active pimples. And then also same with like sweating and things. Um, yeah, don't need to do that all night. Um, yeah, then just sweat it off. So, I think that's it for makeup right now. Um, I might maybe add some stuff at the end. I don't know. Um, but now, I need to figure out what to do with my hair. And I just washed it. Ooh, so it's nice and clean. Um, excuse me. Um, so like, I don't know. Ideally, like, I want to just, would, would want to just, like, curl it and make it huge. But, um... I don't know if that's gonna last, so I'm kind of thinking maybe I just curl it and then kind of play around with it and see if I want to put it like half up, half down or something. I don't know. 
Okay, so um, months ago, this is just like a side, fun side story. So you know that like extreme lip plumper? Um, oh my god, I forget like I forget what freaking brand it is. Um, Too Faced. Um, but I really loved that stuff. And so before I got lip filler, um, this like lip or this like what do you call it? This like plastic surgery? No. This, like, place that does lip filler. I don't know. <laughs> this place that I followed um, made, like, their own, like, lip plumper thing. And it's supposed to be, like, medical grade and, like, all this crazy stuff, whatever. And so I was like, fuck, yeah, I'm going to go one step further and buy that. And it was, like, $60 or something. But I was like, but it's medical grade and, like, all these words that they're saying. Whatever. And so I, like, drove out there to get it. This was before I got lip filler because I wasn't sure yet if I wanted it. And so I, like, drove out there and bought it, and the shit literally does not even work as good as the Too Faced one. <laughs> okay, so originally I was like, I can't leave it down. It's gonna be way too hot, but, like, it looks so cute! So I think I'm gonna leave it down. Fuck it. Um, if you get too hot, I'm just gonna put it in pigtails. I already tried it, and it is easy, so I'm gonna leave it down for now. Um, I'm gonna try on some outfits now and figure out what okay, that looks guys, like. You guys, I am in such a dilemma. So, this is what I've come up with. Cute, and then like, I got these little socks that match to it. It has like, this little toxic thing on them. Um, so it's cute, right? Doesn't match the makeup at all. Fine, I'll get over it. But then I thought about having to pee, and... Guys, I just don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> like, it's cute. Is it worth it to pee in? Do you understand what I have to do? Ooh, maybe, okay. Maybe I can tie the top neck part over the shrug at least. Because then I would have to untie the top part. And then I could just, like, squeeze out of it. Okay, hold on. That doesn't look too dumb. Okay. Fuck it. I think I'm going with this. Um, It doesn't match the onesie at all either. But Adam keeps saying that we're all taking the onesies off. So it should be fine then. And then... I have different ears, so these are my first crew clips. They're a little, like, fucked up. But the neon match is perfect. Um, or I could go green. It doesn't quite match perfect, but... Or I could go black with, like, the reflective. But these ones are really big, and I feel like... I don't know. I feel like they might be in the way more than anything. So I'm going to bring the black ones, I guess, and I'll bring these, and then I'll decide at Adam's. Um, and then I'm going to bring some backup tights and socks and things just in case um but yeah okay i think we should be good um and here is the onesie i think this is the one i'm wearing um but yeah it's this little catacorn thing so at least if i get cold like i'll just put this on and like run around and mob um but yeah okay i think we're pretty much ready um i'm just gonna pack up my stuff and then we're gonna go grab some food on the way and then we're gonna pregame
next day. Um, I honestly have not looked to see what kind of content I got last night, so hopefully I got some. Um, but yeah, super fun. John made it out too, so that was a good time. Um, but yeah, it was a really good show. It was so fast, but yeah, so tonight is Saturday. So we went and did Aaron's um, birthday dinner and stuff earlier, and then I took a little nap because I did not really sleep last night. <laughs> Um, and then we were kind of in debate, but one of his friends that was there last night too offered us, um, spots in their booth tonight, and we were kind of like, mm, maybe we want to go, maybe we don't, but now I got the itch to go, because it's Saturday, and, yeah. <laughs> so, I didn't also have a lot of clothes, so I kind of just made do. These are like my backup ears that I had brought for yesterday, um, and they match tonight, so I want to wear them, but they're a little bit too big, and they're real, like, wobbly, so, I don't know, I'm hoping that they stay on. <laughs> I tried to bobby pin them, but we'll see. Um, and then I have my new... Oh my gosh. And then I have um, the new jumpsuit that I got. Um, this guy that I was wearing. Um, I got my tiger bag, because it's funny. And then underneath, um, I have a little like, metallic-y top, and then these shorts that actually match um, Adam's pants. So, um, that should be cute. And then, yeah, I just have this over from cold. I might just fucking mob around in this all night. And then I have my free rave boots on too. And like some Nisa, knee high socks. But, yeah. So, we're gonna go and have another night of it. <laughs> Rally. Well, hello, but. What did you think of last night? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I got a little smash. Lasers were good. <laughs> Lots of lasers. He was a little, yeah. I don't know where he was. <laughs> he was on his own. <laughs> no. But it was good. Lasers, good. 10 out of 10. We're gonna see more. Do you no know? Lasers. I know of Wooly. Yes. And that's it. <laughs> I didn't know any of the openers yesterday. And he only knew one. Same one as John. Yes. Do you know anything else tonight? We're tired. <laughs> I think we went to bed at like six, which honestly is better than the first night, so. <laughs> but I guess she's to do today, so I'm laying around. It's like 4 p.m. I haven't gotten out of bed, so. I work tomorrow, so I think today is gonna be a movie day <laughs> and an on and off sleep day, but. It was so fun. The show was so fun. Last night was great. Everybody was just like so excited and happy, like all night. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was great. Oh yeah, afterwards we went to the saloon for literally like 
25 minutes, like, because <laughs> it opened till 3, but by the time we got out of there, it was, like, 2.30 already, so by the time we got there, it was, like, we had, like, 25 minutes, but we were just so ready to keep dancing, so <laughs> we did that, and then we just came back here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and hung out with them, one of Adam's friends, like, ready for a ride and stuff, so, but, yeah. And now, we sleep. <laughs> Even Ari's tired. She was hanging out with us in the garage. 